Hey, good afternoon guys. How are you all doing today? My name is Tobias. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And I have a couple things on the agenda today. First of all, don't look over there. Don't look over there, guys. That's for another video. <laughs> that was a close one. Second thing on the agenda today, guys, I just want to show you guys my guppy tank. If you guys remember in my last fish video, I transferred a bunch of my guppies into the pool pond because I crashed the cycle of my guppy tank. And what I haven't shown you guys yet is that the day after I filmed that guppy tank video, um, I transferred a whole bunch more of my guppies into the pool pond. So right now, the only guppies left in here are this female right here and the rest are fry. So those are the only guppies I have left in this tank. And I'm actually thinking about transferring all these guys into the pool pond. And third thing on the agenda, guys, check this out. I have this 10 gallon tank right here. There's nothing in it, but check this out. An Amazon seller gave me this. It's an aquarium air pump and it has two air stones. And I just want to show you guys this real quick because it's actually pretty powerful. I tested it out. I don't know if I'm actually going to use it, but check this out. Got to plug it in. And now let's go ahead and turn it all the way up. Check out how many bubbles that makes. It's crazy. Let's try to separate these guys. Check it out. I left this air pump running for two days straight, like a couple days ago, and it seemed to work fine. So in case any of you guys are looking for an aquarium air pump, I'll go ahead and link that down in the description of this video. I think that one might be a good one. I don't know, let me know your opinions on it. Fourth thing on the agenda today, guys, I just wanna show you my fantailed goldfish because I haven't been noticing so much flashing anymore. There he is, or she is. I actually think that this is a female. I think, don't quote me on this, but I may be looking to put this guy into the pond. Ah, focus, focus. Whoa, soon. I would like to get him into the pond pretty soon, but we'll see. But the way it's looking right now is I think he'll probably be fine. And I don't think I've shown you guys my frogs in a while. Check it out. I made this kind of DIY lid. I used the lid that actually came with this uh, plastic container, cut out this portion of it, and then put a screen mesh over it and then like over the bin and then I put the lid on top of that to hold the screen down and I think it worked out pretty well because I think one of my frogs escaped. So that's why I, I did this. Yeah, you can see a couple of them down there. But what I really wanted to do today guys was a little bit of maintenance to the pond. Check this out. All right guys, check it out. Let's see what we got going on. Looks like there's a little rumble in the jungle. All the fish are going crazy, like right there for some reason. I can't imagine. It's as if there is some, uh, maybe there were some insects on the, up there on the top of the water. Maybe that's what they're going after. I don't really know, but yeah, there's a bunch of algae. This is pretty typical for this uh, time of the day. All the algae rises to the surface when it gets hot in the morning and in the evening. Um, the top of the water is completely clean. It's kind of crazy. But just really quick, what I want to go in and do today is I just want to, if you guys could see over there, there's some kind of like dead water lilies. I just want to cut those ones off so that the water lily plant like as a whole can just like grow better. It's good to cut off the dead ones. And also then you don't have like the rotting water lilies in the water. And then also every couple of months, I like to go through and just uh, clean the filter. So I'll do that as well. So let's go ahead and do this right now. Actually guys, on second thought, I'm gonna wait a couple hours because this time of the day, stuff outside when you're trying to film like just doesn't look good on camera. The sun is way too harsh. It's 2.30 in the afternoon. I'll probably wait till around four o'clock in the afternoon. All right guys, so it's just after 5 p.m. It's a much better time to be out here doing this. So what I'm actually gonna start off with doing is um, cleaning out the pump because it tends to get clogged a lot with the amount of algae that there is in the summer. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean that out. And all the stuff that you see in this video, like a pump, the pool, the filter, everything, I'll have all that stuff linked in the description of this video in case you wanna check any of that out. So let's go ahead and get started. So first I need to unplug the pump. I have it plugged in over there. And I'll go ahead and take the pump out and I need to take it apart because inside the pump there's a pre-filter sponge and that's the thing that always gets clogged. Mm -hmm. 
See that right there? That's the thing that always gets clogged. So I'm just gonna give it a little hose off. And then I'll go ahead and put it back together. And right before I put it back in, I'm gonna go ahead and put some food into the pond because lately, whenever I try to put this thing back in, the fish want to swim underneath it and I'm scared I'm gonna crush one of them. So let's go ahead and do that and check this out, guys. You can see, yeah, you can see some of the guppies that I was talking about that I put in here in my last fish video. Let me see. Yeah, there's like a couple over there. Yeah, look at all these. <laughs> Oh yeah, check out this guy right here. All right, let's go ahead and put some food in. Might as well take the whole top off for this. Alright guys, so while the fish are all busy, let's go ahead and tackle this filter right here. As you can see, there's a ton of algae just caked on the, you know, the output of that. It's probably the most algae I've ever seen on that. So what I'll do with this, guys, is I'll take out the media that's inside and I'll wash it with water from the pond. That is to help not kill all the beneficial bacteria that's built up in that filter. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Almost forgot to put the pump back in. First thing I have on top in the filter is a bag of lava rocks. So just watch how the water in this bin right here is gonna turn like all murky and gross after I rinse that bag of lava rocks. Check it out guys, it's almost completely black. Next, I have a circular filter pad inside the filter. And again, guys, the water is almost completely black. And just before I turn it back on and everything, I'm gonna wipe off that algae from the outside of the lip that's just built up there over time. Yeah, then it'll be good to go. And there we go. All right guys, so the next thing I wanna do before I close this thing up is I just wanna trim off some of those dying or dead water lilies. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So guys, real quick, I just noticed something. I gotta show you this. I just noticed that there's a ton of these tiny little bugs. I don't know what they are. They kind of look like some kind of like aphid or something, but they're these little brown bugs. They're all over the water lilies. And I just realized my frogs would love to eat these. So what I'm gonna do is the ones that I'm cutting off, I'm gonna save those. And I'm going to show you guys me feeding them to my frogs because I think that'll be super cool. All right guys, so I think that looks a lot better. And I got a bucket with these uh, water lily trimmings with all these little bugs on them. I'm gonna go ahead and try putting those in my uh, frog tank real quick and see what they do. I would release the frogs out here already, but I think they're still small enough to where a fish could possibly eat them. So I'm gonna hold off on that. But yeah, let's go ahead and see if my frogs will eat these.
Ooh, he's going for him. He's walking right on top of him. <laughs> Oh, that guy behind him's noticing. Oh, that one got one. All right, guys, that was pretty exciting to see. It looked like my frogs really liked those bugs. So that's cool that I got quite a few of those. So I kind of just made the decision that I think I'm going to try to transfer the rest of my guppies into the pond right now. I've been noticing the behavior of the guppies in here. They're really staying near the top. Like, check this out. Like, all the fry are pretty much staying near the top of the tank. And it's kind of unusual for them to do that. So, like, I feel like what's going on is, like, my parameters just aren't getting any better. Even after a water change, the ammonia levels were still pretty high. And my logic behind leaving some of the guppies in here is that with the small bio load, there might be enough beneficial bacteria left in the tank to take care of that bio load at least, but it just doesn't seem to be working. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead, put the rest of these guys into the pond, and I'll kind of just let this tank restart its cycle. The ammonia is looking like it's around four parts per million now, which is an improvement because before it was easily down at eight. So, I mean, maybe it's getting a little better, but it's still not good enough. I think it'd just be better if I got these guys into the pond. Alright guys, if you guys remember me doing this last time in my last video, I'm just gonna drip acclimate these guys to the pond. And uh, once this thing is a little fuller, we'll go ahead and get them in there. And I'm doing this with a piece of air tubing, create a siphon, tie a knot in it to slow the flow. And yeah, that's how you do that. It's pretty easy. All right guys, that's pretty much the last of the guppies from the tank now in the pond. There were like two fry that I couldn't get in the tank. They were kind of hard to get. Maybe I'll try again tomorrow or something, but that's pretty much all of them in there now. And I'll just go ahead and let that tank completely start its cycle over again. So anyways guys, if you guys like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like, that would help me out so much. And if you wanna see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notifications button, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.